Today we're coming at you guys with some exciting science stuff. Today we're coming at you with the official breakdown of Yomi Supplements Pre-Workout. Hello everybody and thanks for checking in today. My name is Jason Koga. I am the owner and founder of Yogi Me Supplements and today I cannot wait to talk about my first ever formulation, my first ever product, and that is the pre-workout that I'm gonna have sitting right in front of me. Hopefully this video today clears up any misconceptions you guys might have about pre-workout or my product in general. And if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below after this one, but I hope that this video clears up most of the questions that you may have. So let's take a look at the supplement facts panel and let's go from top to bottom. Got my handy dandy laptop here. He's gonna be helping me out. I put some uh, show notes for myself so that we can keep this thing, you know, you and me on the same page the entire time we're gonna get through together. So starting off at the very top, we put in 500 milligrams of sodium coming from pink Himalayan salt. Now this is going to admittedly make the formula kind of salty because 500 milligrams is coming from sodium, not the salt, which is bringing us about 1.2 grams of actual pink Himalayan salt. For a 14 and a half gram scoop, uh, a gram and a half of it being salt is, you, mean, you do the math, it's gonna be a little bit salty, admittedly. However, because we did the sour flavor, the salt actually kind of plays into it. So in my personal opinion, um, sour was the way to go with this as the salt plays right into it. Now, why 500 milligrams? If you guys aren't familiar, sodium is the number one electrolyte lost in sweat. And obviously when you're in the gym and you're going hard, like I know you are, you're gonna be sweating a lot. And so you're gonna wanna replenish that. So this 500 milligrams is going to ensure that you stay hydrated. And if you weren't hydrated going in, it's going to give you some hyperhydration fast to hopefully get you to a level where you can't perform at your maximum levels. Sodium is essential for muscle contractions. So if you're ever deficient in it, you will ultimately have some pretty crappy workouts because you know, you're know you lifting weights with our muscles, we need them to be able to contract. So we're going to bring you up 22% of your daily value. You're gonna be in a pretty good spot with this. Now, moving into the meat of the formula, we have 3.2 grams of beta alanine. Now this is going to give that paresthesia effect or the tingles. So if you are a fan of that, then that's why this is in here. If you're not a fan, I'm sorry to tell you, you might not get it every time, but it is going to be something that might be there. 3.2 grams is the daily saturation level for maintaining saturation. So we usually do about eight weeks of 6.4 grams daily. And then we go to 3.2 grams to hold the saturation. Now the saturation is important here because what beta alanine is, is it's a carnosine precursor, which is going to draw lactic acid away from the blood. If we're doing anything over a long extended period of time, whether it be endurance exercises or just isolation movements that typically take longer to bring us to failure, then lactic acid will build up and the supplementation of beta alanine will help that to be drawn back. And then obviously we're gonna have great workouts because of that. Moving down, we have the full clinical dose of two and a half grams of betaine anhydrous. Now what this ingredient is, is an osmolite. And what osmolite does is it helps regulate the amount of water in your body cells. Now, betaine does this by forcing water into the cells, which is of key interest to us athletes, because what this is going to do is it's going to increase the access to nutrients of the cells that are working. And obviously access to nutrients is going to be very important when it comes to uh, performing at peak levels. Betaine also is this is a methyl donor. Now, right in the name methyl donor, pretty much what we're talking about is it's something that donates methyl groups to other cells. And these methyl groups are consumed by different molecules through uh, regular cellular processes. It's important that we have an adequate amount of these methyl groups as that is very important for peak mental and physical performance. Next, we'll get into my personal favorite part of the entire formula. And this is 1.5 grams of the patented ingredient nitrosogene. What nitrosogene is, is it's a nostril stabilized arginine silicate. Now arginine is the precursor to our body's nitric oxide. And nitric oxide leads to vasodilation, which allows for more blood to get to our working cells, which is gonna create better access to nutrients and those really big pumps that everyone loves in the gym. Now, 1.5 grams of nitrosogene has the same blood effect as about six grams of pure citrulline. Now, the reason we don't see arginine supplements very often is because they usually have poor bioavailability, but Nutrition 21 takes care of this by bonding it to inositol to act as a carrier ingredient. Now, inositol is another nootropic and so when that gets digested, that's going to help with cognition effects, but then we're gonna get that arginine, and that arginine is going to lead to the nitric oxide, which is gonna give us the nice pumps. Moving down the list, we get into L-ornithine at 500 milligrams. L-ornithine's key component is that it's going to help draw ammonia out of your muscle cells. Now, ammonia builds up over time, and when it's there chronically, it can really hinder your performance in the gym. And so when we draw that out, we're gonna feel much more energized, and we're gonna feel like we're performing much better in the gym. 
It can also improve human growth hormone, which could lead to more gains down the line, especially as we stack it. Now our next ingredient is alpha GPC at 300 milligrams. This is an acetylcholine precursor, and acetylcholine is our body's learning neurotransmitter. So this is going to give you a hit of choline, which is going to give you some serious cognition effects. And the more you load this, the greater those effects are gonna be over time. Then we have our combination of 225 milligrams of caffeine and an equal amount dose of L-theanine. Now the two of these are synergistic to each other as L-theanine is going to alleviate some of the negative effects of caffeine, but then when it's taken with caffeine, it's also gonna give you a huge hit of focus and it's gonna get you really dialed in. Then moving towards the bottom of the list, you're gonna start noticing a pattern here. We have 150 milligrams of L of ATP. Now L of ATP is this, it's an ancient peat and apple extract and it's formulated by futureceuticals to give your body an endogenous ATP boost, which essentially means it's going to get your body producing more of its own ATP. The effects of this are going to be greater when you're taking this daily. Now moving further down the list, we have 150 milligrams of epicatechin. Now epicatechin has a multitude of research benefits. Some are improved vasodilation by being an arginase inhibitor. Now arginase is, this is the enzyme that breaks down arginine. If arginine rings a bell, it's because it should. It's from nitrosogene. And we said that that's the precursor to nitric oxide. And so arginase breaks down arginine. Because epicatechin inhibits arginase, this enzyme can't break down nearly as much arginine. And then our nitric oxide will stay around in higher levels for longer, which will prolong and increase the pump that we're getting. It can also promote anabolism through myostatin inhibition. Myostatin is a signal that's sent to your muscle cells that inhibits hypertrophy. Now you might be scratching your head right now and wonder why does something like this exist? Myostatin prevents our muscles from getting too big that we lose motor function. And what I mean by this is it doesn't allow your legs to get too big to where you can't move them anymore. Now obviously, epicatechin isn't going to give you so much myostatin inhibition that you're gonna get huge. Otherwise, steroids wouldn't be a market and everyone would just be out on this. But that little bit that it can take away from myostatin could just be enough to see increased gains in the gym. And then to round out the entire thing, we have 50 milligrams of the patented blend of S7. This has been studied to increase nitric oxide by 230%. Nitric oxide obviously is what's giving us the pump. So this is in here for a pump ingredient. It gets the name S7 because it's, it's a blend of seven very potent antioxidants. These antioxidants are going to fight off free radicals, which is going to prevent oxidative stress. And oxidative stress has been shown in multiple studies to negatively impact athletic performance. And obviously that's not what we want while we're in the gym. That caps off all the breakdowns of what all the ingredients in Yomi do. I had a strong emphasis while formulating this to really challenge myself and, and question how can I get the most acute benefits, but also the long-term benefits of things like loading ingredients. So we really took advantage of things as L of ATP, alpha GPC, epicatechin, and ingredients such as that, that not only are going to give you acute benefits, but as you take this more and more, they're gonna give you better benefits so that this pre-workout gets better with every single use. And overall, how we describe this pre-workout is as a daily driver. Our main goal was the energy isn't going to be anything cracked out. It's going to be something kind of moderate that you can take every day that will still give you just the boost that you need to get into the gym. This is also going to give you the focus that you need with ingredients like theanine and alpha GPC together. And then obviously for the pump, we brought in our betaine, our nitrosogenes, our S7s. Now this pre-workout is available on our website that I'll link in the description. It's 30 full servings for $55. And at the moment, we just have the one flavor and that is in blue sour candy. With that being said, if there are any questions or anything that are confusing that I may have missed or left out, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll respond to all of those. If you found this content helpful, you can let us know by hitting the subscribe button and hitting the like. And once you decide to take a chance and try it uh, and you love it, come back to the channel and let us know how you liked it. With all that being said, I'm checking out of here and I'll see you guys next time.